Once upon a time, there lived a young girl named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and her two stepsisters in a big old house on a fine old street. Today's lesson, soup. You may begin. Now, Cinderella's stepmother was a mean-spirited and bossy woman. And slow down, ladies. Slurp slower. Slurp. While she doted on her own two daughters, trying to make them into something they weren't and never would be, she kept Cinderella in rags and made her do all the work. Hi, everybody. What you doing? Well, I finished the mopping, the scrubbing, the washing, the cooking, and the dusting. I've made the beds, beat the rugs, polished the furniture, chopped the firewood, cut the grass. Oh, and re-shingled the roof. Huh. Is that all? Lazy girl. Now, go clean the chimney and the oven. Yes, stepmother. When Cinderella's work was done, she would sit quietly in her room with Pierre, her faithful one-eyed dog, and Maurice, her faithful frog. There you are. Your sisters have been invited to a ball. Everyone will be there. Except you, Cinderella. Because you wear red. And smell funny, Cinder Clod. Cinder Clod, Cinder Clod. Who's going to dance with Cinder Clod? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cinder Clod. Now. Be a good girl and help your stepsisters get ready for the ball. Yes, stepmother. So Cinderella made new dresses and new bonnets. She styled their hair, polished their nails, and shined their shoes. Finally, the night of the ball arrived. Goodbye, stepmother. Goodbye, stepsisters. Enjoy the dance. Have a good time. Without me. <laughs> I want to go. I want to go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Watch it, Buster. <laughs> What's the trouble, Cinderella? Huh? Who said that? I did. Oh, my. Who are you? Why, your fairy godmother, of course. So, do you want to go to the prince's ball or not? The prince's ball? I can go to the prince's ball? Oh, yes! I do want to go. I do, I do, I do. Good, because there's no time to waste. It took only a few moments of magic for Cinderella's fairy godmother to turn a pumpkin into a fine coach. Wow. Six white mice into six white horses, six lizards into six footmen, and Maurice and Pierre into coachmen. This is wonderful. But it's no use. I can't go to the ball dressed like this. Of course not, dear. There's nothing like being a princess. Oh, this must be a dream. Right down to my glass slippers. Oh, thank you, Fairy Godmother. Mwah. Yes, well, there's just one catch, dear. You must be home before the clock strikes 12. If not, then poof! Everything, pumpkin, mice, frog, dog, they all return to their original form. Understand? Yes, and I promise, home before 12. Arriving at the ball, Cinderella was met by the prince himself. Ooh! Cinderella danced and dined and had a wonderful time. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I've had a wonderful time, but I really must be going. What? So soon, my love. We've only just met. Besides, it's only midnight. Midnight? Midnight? Oh, no! Kiss me, my darling. Home before twelve. Or else. Three, 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 three. 
Cinderella had a long walk home. The prince and the dance were now only a memory, and all that Cinderella had to remember them by was a single glass slipper. The other glass slipper was in the hands of the prince. Mm, such workmanship. Oh, glass is so fragile, so unique. I'll find this princess if I have to search the whole kingdom, and when I do, I shall marry her. And so the search began. The prince tried the glass slipper on every foot in town, but it fit no one. Finally, the prince reached the home of Cinderella. He waited patiently as the twins tried on the glass slipper. Ladies, ladies! Hi, everybody. What you doing? Oops! Huh? Ah, a glass slipper! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! Mm, at last I've found you, my little flower. Cinderella! And so the prince found his princess and his bride. Cinderella was as good as she was beautiful. She forgave her stepmother and her stepsisters for being so mean to her. Then married her stepsisters to two gentlemen of the king's court. So everyone lived happily ever after.